All right, so I've got this video here. This is the video I uploaded yesterday about how to write a blog post. And as you can see, the size is around one point, let's say 1.2 gigs. So let me just check the properties. And uh, yeah, 1.2 gigs. So we're going to see how to reduce the size without losing quality. There's a method to do it on a phone, but maybe that will be in another video. But for this video, we're just going to use the computer method. All right, so let's begin. So you want to head over to this website and I'll leave a link in the description so you can just um, click on it and to take you here. So open it on your browser and then you click on download. So it has started downloading. I'll just click on this and then I'm going to double click it to start the installation process. So when you start it, just keep clicking next until you get to the install button and then you wait for it to install. Okay, I'm going to leave this checked and then I'll click on finish. So I can close this and then I'll close the browser as well. I was hoping it to start running on its own, but it's not. So I'm going to double click it to start the program. Okay, so the program has opened up and as you can see, it just says drop a file or a folder here. And um, I just need to drag this video onto the program. Then I'll wait for it to load and uh, this is the video. So. Well, you can follow along with the settings that I'm about to apply, but um, if you don't want to have to manually apply the settings, don't worry, I'll be creating a preset that um, you can just download and whenever you want to compress a video or reduce the size, then you just need to import it. You only have to import it once and after that, it's going to use the preset to always compress videos. So you can follow along if you want, but um, later I'll be showing you guys how to import the preset. So um, Handbrake already comes with some presets and um, this is the one I created like a while back But I'm not going to be using it. I'm just going to start it from afresh So maybe yours will have this one very fast 1080p 30 frames So for me, I'm going to click on this web optimized this one as well. I'm going to uncheck this Over dimensions. So this will be unchecked. This will be zero. I'll leave this to automatic and um, this should be 1080p. Depends on the video size. My videos are always 1080p, so that's why it's 1080p here. To see the size of the video, you just need to right click on it and then you click on properties. I check details. So you see here it says 1080. This is 1920 by 1080, so this is it here. So that's why I was selecting this one. So whatever yours says, then you check here and then you select it. This one should be none. And then you can leave everything the way it is here. So head over to filters. This should just be like the way it is. Then this is where you do the, the whole work. So if you bring this over to this side, the quality of the video is going to reduce, but the size is also going to reduce. And then if you take it to this side, it may even increase the size of the video. So I leave it around 23, 24. This should be H264. And then this should be 30 frames, but select constant frame rate. And then I leave the encoder as very fast. If you do it this way, it will be like slow, medium, fast, very fast. So this is where I put it. And I leave the rest the way they are. So for audio, you only have to change this setting. And here it is saying 160. But if you check the property of your file, you see that the bit rate here is 317. So I'm going to get close to that as possible. So 320, that's what I'm going to put. Subtitles and chapters are going to be left the way they are. And that's it. So you can start um, compressing. So to start compressing, you click on here to start encoding. So the software is going to take some time to encode. It depends on how fast or slow your computer is. And uh, yeah, when it's done, I'll continue the video. Okay, it is done compressing. And uh, I forgot to mention this, but before you start compressing, you have to click here to specify where you want the compressed file to be saved. So you click on browse and then you navigate to where you want the compressed file to be saved. So for me, it's just in a folder I created called compressed videos. But if you want, you can let it stay on your desktop or in your download folder, anywhere you want. So now let's see the outcome. All right. So we started with 1.2 gigs. Um, yep, right here, 1.2 gigs. and um, now it is just 250 megabytes. It is 149, but I'm just approximating it. All right, so now I'm going to play the video side by side for you to see so you can check if there's any quality difference. If you feel like the quality on the 
compressed video is like terrible then i don't think this software is for you so you, you just have to upload videos the way they are but um, if you feel like the quality is good then yeah you can try using handbrake to compress all your videos so that um, you don't always have to use up a lot of data to upload your videos on youtube all right i've created two presets for you guys if you don't want to have to manually set up the software then you can just import the presets so i'll leave a link to how you can get them in the description so after you have downloaded the handbrake file and you open it next you should drag the video you want to compress into the app and then you come over here to presets you just click on it next you just right click on an empty space on this side and then you click on import from file so you then search for the presets that you have downloaded then you just import it by clicking on it and then you click on open and the preset is going to come down here as custom preset so you click on this arrow here you're going to see the preset then you right click it and set it to default and then you click on ok and from now on the preset is going to be applied so anytime you just import a video you don't have to do all of this again you just click on start encoding and it's going to use all the um, settings that i've applied from all these um all these tabs here and you can start compressing your videos so if you want to try out the second one you just follow the same process you click on presets you right click on any side and then you import from file and then you select the second one click on open and i'm going to put it as default so you can see the difference so for this one i didn't use web optimized i just selected this and if you go through the tabs you're going to see the rest of the settings as well and then if you want you can try both of them to see which one compresses your videos like more and um, to see the quality difference all right so that's all for this video i just wanted to quickly upload it so that um, you guys will be able to compress videos using your computers maybe in the next video i'll show you guys how to do it using your android phones all right so if you have questions leave them in the comments and yeah i'll be seeing you guys in the next video